October the 7th was the end of the world as we knew it. Before that day, though, the Jewish state was under constant threat. We thought their worst days were behind them. Before that day, the days of mass Jewish murder were over. We were tragically mistaken. But let's not make the same mistake again. Hamas is not a militant group. We must rightly call them what they are, rapists. They are murderers. They are terrorists. This is not a provocation. This is a massacre. This is not a response to an occupation. This is a massacre. This is not a flare-up. This is a massacre. This is not just terrorism. This is a massacre. This is not a holy war. This is not us versus them. This is not complicated. This is a massacre. God willing, our lawmakers will act with all deliberate speed, not only to replenish Israel's shield, but to ensure she has a sword so sharp that no enemy can prevail against it in the future. Unprecedented times call for unprecedented action. As such, this morning, the Christians United for Israel board unanimously decided to immediately send $1 million to organizations in Israel addressing life-saving needs there on the ground, including hospitals, ambulances, and first responders. 100% of the funds raised will go to Israel to address the humanitarian needs resulting from this horrific war. And we are asking you to join us in this effort. We must act without delay, both in word and deed. Statements of support are welcome, but on their own, they are insufficient. Because love is not what you say, love is what you do. So join us in this fight. For Israel's deliverance will come, but if we do nothing, it is we who will perish. Click the link below to donate, or go to cufi.org to give, and show your support for the state of Israel and the Jewish people. Join us today in this righteous cause.